guys, welcome back to Cats, Creepers, and Cookies. This is episode two of the May MHC. Let's turn on our uh, coordinates so I can keep an eye on the time. Um, when we left off, we had one piece of wheat we need, two pieces to make um, cookies out of, which is going to be our food source. We're waiting for our wheat to grow up. Uh, let's see, what have we got going here? I am a little bit discombobulated only because I am coming back to this after a few days away. I did have problems with my first episode. I really apologize if you guys actually watched that mess. Um, I'm going to make a stone axe. I know I have... Um, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to make a stone hoe as well um, just for convenience sake um, I think that I will try to okay that's not going to obviously grow uh, because it's next to, it's not going to do me any good to do anything with it because it's next to sand uh, but we'll go ahead and hoe these just to improve my growth rates. Um, if you have not already watched Baddie's um, videos on mining, he does give some really good advice about, or not mining, I'm sorry, about farming, about um, keeping things, if you have uh, your wheat surrounded by hoed uh, spots you're gonna get better growth is the long story short so yeah so we'll do that just for giggles really hoping for some wheat growth here we do need to cut some more trees hello mr. sheep um, hmm. we're going to need to kill some spiders I'm very tempted as soon as I have some food I want to go down into the cave Ugh, I really wish my wheat would grow faster uh, let's see. I can make that would be dirt. Um, make a boat. Whoops, that's not a boat. That's a boat. Um, you notice they have oars now. That will save us swimming across the water, which will save us some. Uh, ah ha ha! Finally, grab that. Now that we actually have some food, I might as well go ahead and plant a little bit of extra. Finally, we can make our first cookies. So we'll go ahead and do that. Unfortunately, they don't have great saturation, but you do get eight cookies um, when you make cookies. So that's a good thing, at least. As you can see, it's a good thing because, you know, we're, we're going to burn through cookies like mad. Um, in fact, I think we're going to go ahead and take out these this brush here. Just to expand our garden space a little bit more. What kind of trees? Oh, we got oak saplings. That's kind of neat. Okay, so... Okay, I've already got four, so I can't really do much more here. I can go one more back there. All right, good enough for the moment. Okay. <sighs> I'm going to go ahead and make a chest just to clear my inventory a little bit and keep better track of things. Um, let's see. At the moment, we'll place it there. Put some of these odds and ends into this. Don't really have any use for andesite. Don't need the sand. The wooden tools eventually I'll burn. Uh, let's see. Put that away. The dirt I'm gonna hang on to for climbing. I'll put the wheat in there just just for convenience sake. Um, hmm. Well, it is daytime, so this seems like a good time to go and cut trees, and it looks like this direction 
does have the best uh, I don't have to jump to get to the trees on this side so I'm going to go ahead over here now to steer the boats if you haven't figured it out yet um, you actually have to steer them just the same way you steer your player come on let me out of the boat there we go um, so it's not the uh, just how to call it you can't just look and expect the boat to turn you have to actually steer it just like you steer your player I don't know if I'm saying that right you have to actually use the um, S W A uh, and so on keys in order to kind of watch in for mobs just in case but I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this tree down I'm still getting some lag, nothing like I was, so I'm really hoping this episode will be a reasonable length. Um, so yeah, aside from that, now did I cut one I shouldn't have here? Yes, I did. So I will just go ahead and do that and that. Okay. Helps if you get the axe back. And this is the most efficient way to cut a tree that's, you know, um, that you have to spiral up like this. If you have a four, you know, you have a, a dark wood or a jungle tree that's this big, this is just the, at least the easiest way. I mean, I know there are actually more efficient ways if you have access to ender pearls and if, you know, there's different ways to farm trees, but this is just, for our intents and purposes, this is fine. This is how I do my tree farm on Bificraft, which I haven't played in a while. Actually, I stopped in today, and I did run into Carlock, which is one of my uh, Bificraft teammates. They're going to be a UHC. If you guys watch any of the Bificrafters um, on Saturday night, they'll be starting this month's UHC. Unfortunately, I won't be able to participate. I do have to work my other job. Um, so I'm not going to be able to take part in the UHC, but I, I miss it. I, I really miss my Bifacraft people. Um, they had a lot of fun on that server. A really cool base on that server. But, you know, life has been busy, as I've mentioned before, and I just haven't been able to get on the servers like I'd like to. Let's see. There we go. We're gaining. Getting onto the top here. Jungle trees are huge. As you guys probably already know. And we're going to have a lot of wood. Oh, I really should not look down. <laughs> um, if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you probably know that I do have a serious problem with heights in real life. And it does translate over to Minecraft, as odd as that sounds. Um, it can be difficult for me to um, look down in-game. <laughs> I actually get a little bit nauseous when I do. So Now I'm up here. I can look out across the landscape without too much trouble if I don't think about it too much. Okay, there. But if I look straight down, I tend to have... So I now I'm just focusing on the tree that's directly below me. And while you guys are seeing the entire picture, I am really focusing on this log that I'm cutting. And trying really hard not to fall, that was not a good thing. But I don't like to leave hangers um, when I'm cutting trees, if I can help it. I think that's going to be a hanger. Um, that looks like it might be part of another tree, but I'm not sure. Ooh, I'm getting a little, a little freaked out here, but you know what, we're just going to keep going. There we go. That crazy sheep's hanging out at my base. Now there is a cool thing about sheep, and uh, even in, in this, even though I can't make a bed because of the challenge, um, if I can get enough wool, we can do something really cool. Unfortunately, um, the banner I normally create for Minecraft, I require green wool to uh, make it, make the banner that I really like to make. So I don't have green, unfortunately. Uh, because I'm not going to go searching for a cactus biome unless we get a really cool treehouse built, which, you know, in which case I may. So anyhow, it looks like we're going to have about a stack and a half or better of wood. 
I do apologize if you're getting a lot of background noise. Um, my stepdaughter to be is watching a show in the in the next room, and you may actually hear the fan. I noticed in my last video in the second half of episode one, I could hear the heater fan uh, running in the background. We do have a small space heater in my bedroom, and that's what that uh, blowing noise was. So I've got that turned off at the moment, but it looks like we got some jungle saplings. Oh, well, I left a couple hangers, but it can't be helped. Nothing too terrible, I guess. And that's, yeah, I took down one tree and got over a stack and a half of wood, so that's good. Now to go backwards, I have to click S and to turn, I have to push D or A. And I am not going to explore too far. I do want to do a little... See, now I'm trying to turn by looking. And you can't do that in the boats now. You have to turn by pushing buttons. I just want to see where this little lagoon takes us. So it is daytime. We have plenty of time in the in daylight left. But I don't want to get too far from my um, my little island because I do like my island. Another sheep over there. Boy, there's a lot of sheep out here. There's sugar cane, which is kind of nice. If we do happen to find pumpkins, but all we can eat this month are um, cookies. So I'm just curious to see where this goes. Looks like it's an actual river, not just a lake, as I first thought. Okay, we do have red dye if I do decide to try to do the banners. Oh, this goes right in a circle. Neat. And there's some melons, which would be awesome if we were allowed to eat melons. <laughs> so yeah, this looks like it's quite a nice little area. More cocoa beans up there, which, you know, hopefully this is going to take us. Oh, I heard a zombie. Can't tell if there's a, there might be a cave underneath us. Um, there was a glitch with the boats where you could pick up squids with the boats, but I don't know if that's been fixed or not. And that looks like our island right there, because there's our sheep. Yep, there's our silly little sheep bouncing in the water. Hello, sheep. So I'm just going to dock the boat right there. Boats are a lot less glitchy than they used to be. They don't break nearly as easily as they did. Oh, excellent. We've got more wheat. So we will take that for sure. Um, eventually we will make our garden a little bigger. Oh, I suppose i got to work on a layout for a base of some type. Um, eventually. Okay, that's growed our, grow, grew our wheat farm up a little bit more. Uh, let's go over here and get some more cocoa beans. Uh, let's see. We'll plant one more. They do the cocoa beans grow pretty quickly, so they're not really a, a big problem to get more cocoa beans. Okay, so that left us with four, which is plenty. And we will make more cookies. Just so we have some excess food. In fact, maybe I should plant a little bit more of the cocoa beans just to have, whoops, not throw them away, silly. Um, just to have some extra growing. There, that should do us for the moment. Plant those up in there. Okay, and you know what, we'll take one more because I do have two things a week so I can make one more batch of cookies. Better to have more food than not enough, right? There. Okay, so that gives us 20 cookies. That's pretty good saturation. Now my thought here is that it would be really nice to have just a huge, cool uh, tree house going on. I could even make a bridge over to that tree, you know, make it really, really giant. Um, so I'm really thinking that this would be an excellent tree for a tree house right here. So I think that's the direction we're going to go in with our base, but right now 
um, I would like to go back down into the mine and see if about the cave system that we encountered before. Um, let's see. Did I move my furnace? No, I left my furnace right there. I do have some more iron, which is a huge plus. Um, let's see, what have we got for armor? So far, just a shirt and hat. Um, I remember that we found part of the cave. We are still on day one. I think we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to stick with armor for our uh, use of our iron just because of the... Yeah, okay, I remember this now. And then we found the iron, uh, coal. We did find gold, but I don't have a... That's what I need to do. I need to make another... Um, pick. Actually, I'll make a couple picks. Oops, I just heard a bat die, so obviously there's some uh, lava around. Yep, I hear it now that I listen. So let's get rid of that. We'll put this in the hot bar. And two picks ought to be enough for the moment. Now we're already at um, 11. So that's plenty low enough to find, you know, anything we could possibly need. I'm not even going to worry about the gold. I mean, it's a nice find as far as, uh, you know, if you want to build a clock or something, you want to get some redstone, some gold. But for the MHC, there's not really a whole lot of point to gold because I'm just going to get some coal and see if there's any iron behind it. Um, simply because there's not a whole lot of use for it. Um, I don't have any way to make an enchanting table. Um, the only thing gold would be good for is like golden apples or something like that. And I'm not really going to waste um, iron to make an iron pick just to harvest gold. So anyway. Sorry guys, it's taken me a little bit to get back into the whole talking while playing thing. Um, it's surprisingly difficult. You know, if you ever do YouTube, that is probably the most challenging part is not getting distracted while you're while you're playing and you're talking and you're you know going back and forth to use up all my okay so yeah let's see i would like to do something interesting today so i would like to um go caving at least a little bit so Let's go back up. We found our way this far. Now I really think we're just going to start tunneling because we are at 11, which is plenty low enough for diamonds. And if we happen to run across that cave, all the better. Although I think this is going to be a problem because we're going to end up in the hole. So we'll have to go maybe in a different direction. So we've come this far, let's try going this way. Just for giggles. And there's more coal, which is great. Even though we have way more coal than we're ever going to use. Um, oh, more iron. See, that's a good thing. Because iron is always useful. But the main thing is I would actually, I'm actually looking for that cave because I would like to get in the cave and uh, search for spiders. I did hear spiders. Fortunately, I also heard a witch last time, so I'm not too thrilled with that idea. Not really keen on running into a witch. Oh, my iron. Sweet. If I get enough iron, I'll go ahead and make a an iron pick. just because they are quicker. I'm actually going to go up one layer. I do normally mine at 12. Um, just a habit because it is diamond levels. Actually anywhere, I think it's between 10 and 14 are diamond levels. 
something like that or or at least that's where the highest concentration of diamonds can be found okay I heard water I do hear water running so hopefully we're gonna run into something up here I know this is like the most boring thing oh man Let's see what we run into here. Sorry guys, I know watching me mine is probably the most boring thing in the world. But I'm really hoping to find my way into this cave so I can... Just for giggles, let's go in this direction. It sounds like the lava is coming from this way, but it's really hard to tell because it's not really... Uh, Minecraft sounds aren't necessarily directional. Oh, found more iron. That's always a plus. Never going to turn down iron, that's for sure. Well, let's see. We are on, still on day one, so we're still good that way. Water sounds are getting a little bit louder. Really hoping to open up into a cave here shortly. Don't want to waste too much time just mining tunnels. Of course, it's possible I'm going over or under the... Okay, now I lost the water sound, so... Hmm. And my pick's going to die soon, too. Well, it's louder here, so let's just do a little bit more scoping things out. So I'm going to definitely lose my pick soon. And again, I'm losing the water sound, so... Hmm... Maybe I just went in the wrong direction. So, what are you guys up to? What have you been doing in Minecraft land or in... Aha! Ooh, boy, that was a little chancy, wasn't it? But at least we did find the cavern that I was looking for, and hopefully we'll find some... Uh, find some... Yeesh. Find a safer way out of here. Yikes, okay. See some some scary, scary stuff, that's what I see. I do see some iron up here. You're a zombie. Of course what I'm really looking for is spiders. Maybe I'll jump up here and get this iron, why not? we don't get ourselves knocked off first thing. Let's see if we can get a better look around from a little safer vantage point. Okay, there's Mr. Zombie. He's blocked off pretty much by the lava. I would really hate to take fall damage in here. Oh, we're still on day one, so we're still in good shape for time. I really miss Batty's mod. i got to figure out how to hook it up on this um, so I can keep a better eye on my time. I don't know how much caving I actually want to get into doing here. I do see more iron down there, which would be handy. Oh, it's gold. Okay, well... Yeah. Ordinarily, I would be thrilled to find a cave, but um, 
just because. All right, well, I'll go back down here and get this iron. Yeah, I pillared my way up here. Okay, I'm gonna go down one more so I don't take fall damage when I jump. Where did Mr. Zomber go? Oh, he's still over there. Okay. Yeah, you can just stay over there, Mr. Zombie. Um, no sign of spiders, unfortunately. That was what I really wanted down here. I don't really care about zombies. I don't know if it's worth it to try to explore the other end, or if I should just... Hmm. Oh, guys, you know what? It's day two, so we will have to solve that little dilemma tomorrow. So thanks for coming along, guys. I hope this was a little bit more exciting an episode than uh, day one, and it lasted a little bit less time. And guys, remember, big scary world out there. Big scary world. So be kind. Whoops. <laughs> so be kind, guys. Be kind to one another, and be kind to yourselves. And uh, whoops, sorry about the close-ups. <laughs> I'm still working out these camera angles. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.